Hi, this is Bob from Hobby Concepts, and today I've got something that people ask me about all the time. Bob, where can I get a low boy trailer that'll work with my trucks that won't break the bank? I think I've got an answer. This is a new um, low boy trailer from Diecast Masters. It's designed for their trucks, but we're going to unbox it. We're going to see if it'll work with the Tamiya trucks how it looks, how much weight you can put on it, how big it is. Uh, it looks very, very nice. I think you'll like it. We'll, uh, we'll take it apart and see what's going on. Let's get started. Okay, I had to switch to a different camera than my, uh, my normal setup just because this stuff is getting so big, I, I had to get more of the workbench. So here's the trailer. Um, comes very nicely packed, all packed in foam, and it looks promising. My goal here is to see if it'll work with the uh, Tamiya trucks. You can see I've got a king hauler here to, to test with. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this open and slide it out, and I will come back. So I got it out of the box. Um, it's tied in with string to... Uh, to this. So we'll cut those apart here and uh, see what we got. Boy, it looks really good. Um, and it's beautiful looking. So up here on the top, we've got some uh, the side rails. Man, that's really packed in here. Okay, so the side rails, um, which will widen the deck, are included. You can see that the whole machine is made out of uh, this plastic, and then these side rails, I'm assuming, will just slide in place. We'll take a better look at that later and widen up the trailer. So the foam packing is pretty pretty intense. Oh my, the whole back side is, is packed in here. All right. So there we have the trailer. It looks really nice. It's been hard to find an inexpensive low boy trailer. Um, pretty hefty. Okay, straight axles, but it's got some suspension. But the suspension is really a very small amount side to side, spring loaded, but it's it's like the whole rear suspension is one deck, and that's fine. I mean, we're 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 looking at trailers for smooth roads generally anyway. It looks very very nice. Okay, I'm gonna um, do a few things. Uh, unpackage this. And then I'll come back and we'll take a closer look. You can see I've got these um, pieces unboxed. So the side uh, rails just snap on. And actually once they're on there, they're quite sturdy. And the gooseneck is removable. It's got a little latch right here that holds it on. And it also has a, a feature that you can raise and lower the gooseneck. Now, that feature is designed only for the Diecast Masters trucks. So you would have to have one of the, their trucks, although I intend to, uh, in a future video, to hack this open and show how to uh, add lights and um, a remote-controlled gooseneck using uh, typical radio control parts. It's quite nice. I weighed the trailer. It weighs four pounds. It feels quite solid, and it's big enough 
to haul a king hauler on top, which is pretty nice. It's 1 16th scale, so technically it's a little smaller scale than our Tamiya trucks, but I think it'll still look pretty good with the truck. The gooseneck has a, a two position uh, pin. You can change it either to the forward or the back position. It does it does latch on solidly to a king hauler and pivots nicely and I think it would do the same thing with that in the back position. So uh, it looks like it'll hook up to our trucks just fine. I'm going to go ahead and install this on there. Well, let's see how let's do it. Uh, oh, it also has a little flip over legs for driving your excavator, or those or whatever up onto it. To snap on the gooseneck, it just fits over here like this. And it takes a pretty good push to get that back on there. But once it's on, it's quite solid. Okay, so let's take my king hauler here. We'll latch that up and see how it looks. Okay, height-wise looks pretty good. This is a eight pound king hauler. It has a lot of extra stuff on it. Aluminum wheel, all kinds of aluminum parts. It weighs quite a bit. And so, uh, you know, we're pretty good there with eight pounds and that actually looks darn nice on there. So a, uh, let me see how the angle is. Yeah, you can see most of it there. Um, the trailer from there, from the front of the gooseneck to the back bumper is 41 inches long. I think a Tamiya, a standard Tamiya trailer is 35 inches long. So lengthwise it measures up. It's eight inches wide. The king hauler is seven and a quarter inches wide. And scale wise, it's not bad. I mean, you know, here's the thing. The, the RC four wheel drive low boy trailer is totally superior. I mean, it'll carry a ton of weight and it, it's true 14 scale and looks fantastic. But you know, eight, $900 is a lot of money for a trailer. And this trailer is $250. So, you know, if you're looking for a trailer that that looks nice and will uh, will carry some things, boy, I think that thing for the price is going to be pretty hard to beat. I think it looks great. So I went and grabbed uh, my Huina metal excavator. Uh, this weighs about 12 and a half pounds, and it sits on there nice. Looks good. A little bit of flex, not too bad. I mean, it's possible that you, you might want to beef it up a hair, but uh, I think for overall use on smooth roads, that's probably about the maximum weight, somewhere in around 12, 13 pounds. But it looks good on there. It's a little, a little off scale from the uh, King Hauler, but not bad. And again, for the price, it's, uh, it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna take this outside and run it around a little bit and we'll shoot some video of it uh, driving just to see how it uh, how it handles and I'll leave this 12 and a half pound excavator on it when I drive it around I might use the uh, the gray truck to pull it so we'll uh, get that set up and shoot some video well I wanted to do a kind of an overall video just so you could see how the trailer looked behind the truck and pretty darn good. Latches on easy. And uh, we'll drive it around a little bit here. Okay, so with it up to the trailer.
Okay, we'll throw a load on there and see how we do. Okay, so here's a king hauler on it, which is probably a four pound load. And, uh, yeah, no problem at all. Trailer doesn't flex much, so it's pretty good. Throw that 12 pound excavator on it and see how it looks. Okay, this is our 12 pound excavator. I'm kind of keep an eye on the trailer. Yeah, seems to handle that just fine. I like how it throws. It throws really well. Okay, well, there you have it. Um, Diecast Masters uh, Low Boy Trailer. It's uh, it's actually darn nice. That's a Raystar 14 scale Mercedes Benz sitting on top of it right now. Uh, you saw from the driving around pictures it handled the 13 pound excavator okay and uh, certainly handled the, the King Hauler okay. Uh, it, it's long enough to hold a King Hauler barely, but it would hold a King Hauler, a Globe Liner, probably any of the Euro trucks. Uh, the Huina excavator, any of the of the brooder stuff, the tractors, uh, looks good. It rolls nice. It latches up just fine. I'm uh, I'm thrilled that I finally have a low boy trailer I can recommend to people who are looking for something that's not eight or nine hundred dollars. Obviously, the RC four wheel drive all aluminum trailer is way nicer and will carry probably a hundred pounds, but. Hey, for, for normal stuff and for a, a inexpensive trailer, this thing's great. I will do a, a video in the future showing how to operate the uh, up and down gooseneck and add lights. I'll probably do some painting. I'm keeping this one for myself. I really like it. So uh, expect to see that, but probably not till fall. I'm, I'm busy and trying to keep caught up. But uh, yes, I will do some future vid videos on that. Uh, purchase link for that trailer is in the description and uh, some notes on the video. As always, I appreciate a thumbs up on the video. Please subscribe to my channel. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.